Welcome to another episode of At the Market with the Greater Fort Lauderdale Food and Wine Festival presented by MyFortLauderdaleBeach.com. Last night I went to the Greenwise Market by Publix. I got some eggs, some beef, and I'm going to hang out with Chef Michael today from Tinta at the West End on Fort Lauderdale Beach, and he's going to show me how to put it all together to make something incredible off his menu. Check this out. So we're here under the tent, right here in Fort Lauderdale Beach with Chef Michael. Chef, you're right here from the Wesson yep. at Fort Lauderdale Beach. Wesson Fort Lauderdale Beach Resort, just right down the road. You have a couple of restaurants in there, don't you? We have Lona and Tinta. It's actually the same restaurant, everybody. It's right on the water. You can't miss it. Uh, we got a big patio facing the ocean, uh, right in the front of the Weston. Uh, for Tinta, we're open in the morning from 7 a.m. to 11.30, and then it turns into Lona and uh, magically becomes a lunch and dinner restaurant. I hear you have a really good brunch. Brunch is excellent. Sunday brunch uh, in Lona, large spread, uh, huge variety of foods, ceviches, several different tacos, uh, pastor pork carved right on the trumpo, which is the little kind of spinny thing that you see. And uh, it's an uh, experience. It's really excellent. It's an experience. It is. All right. We um, and margaritas, bottomless. I had my first taste of guacamole there when we made it a couple months ago. Yeah. Um, so it was food there is incredible. I know I'm a frequent patron myself. Sure. Um, we're going to talk about um, how good the restaurant is a little bit later, but before that, let's dig in. Like, we went shopping through the market. Okay, so what, what do we got today? We got several vegetables. We got some peppers. We got a yellow onion. We got an avocado. Uh, cilantro, we're actually going to make a little bit of uh, guacamole. So, uh, Chef, when you're looking for an avocado, what do you look for? Firm, but not hard. Uh, it's a it's really kind, kind of a fallacy that green avocados are bad because sometimes they're green on the outside yet they're still ripe so what you're looking for is kind of you should be able to when you touch the outside of a cow it should give to your fingertip okay but it shouldn't be mushy and is there a secret to your your guacamole recipe that you can share well fresh ingredients is one thing one thing we do use is fresh lime juice a lot of people make a mistake and they'll use lime juice out of the container like that bar stuff we use all fresh squeezed lime juice, makes a big difference. Um, fresh cilantro. But other than that, real simple. I, I think with guacamole, less is better. Some people kind of get a lot of stuff going on in their guacamole. We do real simple, salt, pepper, lime juice. And then we add the fresh we made when you order on the phone, we add the fresh pico de gallo, tomato, onions, uh, Jalapenos, cilantro. Fresh lime juice, Fresh simple lime salt juice. and pepper. Simple salt and pepper. We have our yellow onion. Now, I gotta ask while, while we're sure. we're doing this, what, what do you think makes Fort Lauderdale really special? Well, <laughs> besides you being here at the beach. And besides me being here at the beach? <laughs> Fort Lauderdale, very special. Great bars, great food, uh, great people. A little less crowded than Miami Beach, I think. Mean. A little bit. I love this park that we have here, right here at Los Olas A1A. This is, this is really new. And uh, just for the last year, they built this thing. And this is like one of the it's amazing, great, greatest things they've added. It's Fort amazing Lauderdale. what you can turn a parking lot into. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Again, more little fresh lime juice in the Pico de Gallo. We're going to add a little cilantro. Earlier we were talking and you were, you were telling us that there's a, a little, um, it's, it's an unknown, well-known secret about how uh, prestigious the restaurant is. Well, we're very proud. We've been open uh, for about three years now. Hey, what's the best going on in in Fort Lauderdale? If you type in Mexican food, Lona's going to come up as your number one restaurant. Not number two, not number three, number one. Number one Mexican restaurant. That, that's a that's a good achievement. 
Can you stir that up for me? All right. While I'm going to cut some peppers. So our machaca, which I have right over here, was cooked for about eight hours. Uh, real slow at about 200 degrees with uh, some guajillo chili, which is a dry, kind of mildly spicy pepper. Uh, some onions, garlic, garbage on that one. And how do you know the beef is, when you slow cook it, how do you know that it's done? It's ready, it's ready for prime time. If you, well, you go to pick it up when it's hot, it'll just crumble and fall apart. Like if you say that this is gonna be really tender. So why don't we go ahead and get started here. We're gonna put a little oil in the pan. So we're starting with a really hot pan. Real hot skillet. With a little oil. Now the beef is fully cooked, so that we're really just gonna be warming up. So, Michael, we picked up some ingredients at the Green Wise Market here. I really want steak and eggs. Sure. I want to put it into a, a taco burrito type thing. What, what am I doing here? Sure. Right. It's not quite steak and eggs. It's a beef machaca skillet. Uh, we use slow cook uh, uh, short rib beef that's at slow braise. Yeah, so it's hours. very tender. Peppers and onions, sauteed peppers and onions. And to all that, we're going to cook up and we're going to add the scrambled eggs. We got that. our peppers and onions cooking in the skillet. Yep. We're going to saute these down. It's going to take just a few minutes. Then we'll add the beef to that and make sure that's nice and hot. And then we'll uh, add our scrambled egg. So that we're gonna add our beef. Which is already cooked, so we're just really heating it up again. Yep, heating it up, making sure it's all nice and shredded up. In the meanwhile, let's do a dance. We're gonna do a dance. Go ahead and scramble our eggs. I'm gonna have you help me out with that. Is that all right? I can try. I've, uh, I once worked at McDonald's in the breakfast shift, so I think I've cracked a couple thousand eggs in my life. Well, there you go. You're gonna take that whisk right there on your right. And just break those up and scramble them up real good. They don't have to be. I like to add a little bit of cream to my scrambled eggs. Why Just that? a dash. Gives it a richer, fuller taste. Lightens up a little bit. What type of cream are you adding? This is heavy cream. It's this heavy, is heavy cream. cream. Some people like to use milk. Some people like to use half and half. I like to use the heavy cream because you get the flavor of the same effect with less liquid. Okay. So like when you're adding milk, you tend to thin your scrambled eggs out a little bit. They don't set up quite as well. So we got our peppers, our machaca beef. To that, we're gonna add our scrambled egg. So we're just really cooking everything in the same pan. That's a beautiful about this. Is. It's kind of a it's a it's a it's a it's one easy, shot, simple. easy cleanup at the end. And when this is done, we're going to plate it inside of a tortilla shell? No, we're actually going to plate it on the skillet. This is how we serve it here at the restaurant. So you kind of build your own. Build your own. I'm let that finish up. While that's doing that, I'm going to just warm up these tortillas. So they're soft. I love the, the colors. Important not to overcook your peppers and your onions, so they still got a nice crunch to them. So what is your favorite dish on the menu? And let's go for both, for, for breakfast and then for, for Mona. Ooh. So I think for breakfast, for me, it's gotta be the carnitas hash, carnitas which hash. is again, slow cooked pork, carnitas, um, uh, famous tacos made with carnitas. We had peppers, same thing, peppers, onions, and potatoes. That's all cooked, but we topped that with poached eggs and chipotle hollandaise. Sounds delicious. delicious dish. And then we're moving over to Lona. Moving over to Lona, I gotta say it's the lobster quesadilla. Uh, it's one of our number one selling items. Uh, fresh Maine lobster. Uh, you go to Maine every morning and grab one out of the bay? We do. <laughs> it's actually not too far up the coast here. <laughs> they ship them down. So that's kind of the machaca skillet right there. 
On top of that was your the guac that we fresh made. and the pico de gallo. Tortillas. I'm going to use my hand just because it's easier. And the chocolate skillet. We did it. We did it. So I went to Greenwise Market. I got some ingredients. I got a professional chef to help me make it come to life because I can't do it. <laughs> but anybody could do this at home. I think so. I, I think it's a simple enough dish. Um, a, a great shortcut if you really want to make this at home. You don't want to take the time to slow cook the beef and all that. You can buy some already shredded beef. But days where I have gone out on Friday night, wake up Saturday morning, come over, have brunch with you, and Please then you'll do. take care of it for us. And we will. <laughs> and we will. And enjoy awesome. doing it. This looks incredible, Chef. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for joining us. And last words of wisdom? Come to Tinta. Have <laughs> breakfast. Come to Tinta and have breakfast. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining us. This is another episode of At The Market with the Greater Fort Lauderdale Food and Wine Festival presented by MyFortLauderdaleBeach.com.